Oh, hey guys, how you been? If you recall, last year we set out on the journey to prove whether or not you could grow an onion bulb from the cut section of an onion from the grocery store. And while the research of whether or not you can or can't or can indeed get a new bulb is still ongoing, many of you that have been doing this at home and have sprouted your own onions have come across a unique situation. Your original sprouted onion has multiplied into two, three, or even four new onion plants. We have to recognize that onions have spacing rules no matter how you grow them. So let's go ahead and divide this guy here so I can get the project back on track. Onions are grown for the swollen bulb at the base of the stem, adjacent to the root color. They absolutely need an adequate amount of spacing to grow properly into full bulbs. Six inches of spacing seems to be the standard for all but the smallest varieties. So if your onions are doing what mine have done and have grown into two or more plants, they gotta be divided. If done correctly and at the right time, dividing these guys is as easy as gently prying the individual plants apart. The key is to wait until each plant has its own root system. Sometimes that takes a few weeks, other times it can take upwards of a couple of months. Once divided, plant the individual onions into either their own pots or space properly in a garden bed. Remember, the bulb itself is part of the stem and it must remain above the ground. A little bit of mulch, however, shouldn't hurt them. When I replant these guys, I just use a regular potting or container mix. However, now would be a good time to fertilize or add nutrients in, as the plants are gonna become quite hungry to make these bulbs. I don't use chemical solutions here in my plants, so right now I'll take this time to amend the soil with alfalfa pellets. This cheap little amendment is perfect for an added boost. Nitrogen is what you're after, which is your N or the first number in the NPK fertilizing system. If you're going the store-bought route for your nutrients, aim for a disproportionately higher first number. Keep the onions well watered but not soaking wet all the time. Also, you really want to keep them free of weeds at this time. You don't want any other plants in there competing for space and resources while these guys try to grow their bulbs. And with any luck, you'll be harvesting onions in about six to eight weeks. As for why this works sometimes with some onions and only at certain times of the year, well, I'm still working on that one. After about 400 attempts at regrowing an onion from an existing onion, I think I have an idea of what's going on, but I need more time and testing to make sure. Fun stuff. Hey, if you're following along at home and you're having success, or maybe you're having trouble getting the onions to sprout in the first place, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if any of you are on Facebook, head on over and join our gardening group called Growing Better. The group has grown phenomenally fast, yet it will never lose its sense of community or its welcoming feel. If you're passionate about growing epic organic fruits, herbs, and veggies for you and your family, the Growing Better group is a great place to hang out, share, learn, and grow. Hey! Thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.